we? Yep, you can definitely eat spinach. Yeah, I know that. We have that for snack at school sometimes. Good. So do me a favor, don't take those off. Just take out all the other ones, okay? Because they're Leave growing. The middle one. Are they yep, growing? It might give us more. But I think that's spinach. It doesn't look like the collard greens. The spinach looks cool. No, mine, if I want me. Thanks, Aria. Welcome back to Home and Gardening with Anquisha. I am Anquisha. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for every like and share. One of my daughters harvests what I believe is spinach because this does not look like my collard greens. It's very small. I'm thinking maybe kale. I don't remember planting kale. This just doesn't look like collard greens to me. It, it looks a little different. I'm not sure if maybe these collard greens didn't mature fully. They don't look like collards. They, I don't know if it's kale. I'm like, did I drop some kale seeds? Did I drop some spinach? I think spinach would be a lot smaller than this. So we got a mystery green and I don't think it's collard, okay? So I let one of my daughters harvest that as you can see in the beginning of the video. And I am going to come in and I want to honestly harvest the rest of my collards. So you guys see that one over there. Let me get you guys closer. Perfect. Okay, so as you can see, um, this was like my brassica area. <laughs> and I did not get a head on my cabbage. That was my first time growing cabbage. And I've been growing it since fall, like October. And I should have had a head by now. So I'm just going to harvest the leaves because they are edible. And I wanted to show you guys my collard is giving us seed. Look at that. And that is so cool. So I should not have to buy any more collard green seeds ever because I'm going to get my seeds back. So today I'm going to come in and just take off the remaining um leaves that i want and i'm gonna eat them they they may be bitter we'll just see because sometimes what's bitter and nasty to you may be delicious for the next person right so i'm gonna come and um i'm just gonna go ahead and take off the rest from this plant right here i'm just pulling off my uh these are my collard leaves I'll give them a good wash when I go in. And I'm gonna go ahead and freeze these babies. Beautiful, beautiful. So on this plant right here, I'll leave those two on. See if they get bigger. And I honestly want all of my collars to go to seed. So I'm not gonna pull them up. I'm, I'm waiting for uh, more of my collars to flower. So let's go ahead and we'll get those. My switch chart is doing lovely. I am so tempted to harvest. I feel like I should harvest some of those big leaves off. Well, I might do that too, you guys. 
And I can let y'all know if these collard, collard greens are, you know, bitter and doesn't taste too well, because I will be eating them. Because why not? It's food. Okay, that's a college. And we're gonna go ahead and get some of that. Uh, we're just gonna take, I'm just gonna take all my cabbage. Now, uh, some of you may be wondering why I don't have on gloves. I don't think I need them for what I'm harvesting today. Um, if I had like okra or something that I needed to harvest, then I would put on some gloves, but don't be afraid to get in your garden with your bare hands, okay? Because honestly, I think it's very therapeutic. Touching the leaves, leaves, you know, and filling the soil. Oh my gosh, why not? Why not, okay? So I want to harvest these leaves because I want to pull this cabbage up since I didn't get a head for my first time planting. And this was a Copenhagen cabbage, I believe. I started from seed. And I'm not sure if I started it too early, but my growth calendar said I, I could start it in fall. So that's what I did. But I probably didn't water it enough because the cabbage needs to be watered. And as you can see, guys, I had Ola's in here. The soil even still feels uh, very moist, but I did not get a cabbage head, which is okay. We will keep trying just like we do for everything else. And I'll see where I went wrong. And I bet you it's because I wasn't watering it properly. At the end, I started throwing in the Olas. And I'm like, oh, it's probably too late, so... It is totally fine. I'm gonna um, get all of these leaves because this is edible. You can make this as a side for yourself with something, you know. So I think that's pretty cool. And what I'll do is um, I'll just pull that up. Harvest basket so far different greens, collards, and I'm gonna go and get another basket, guys, because I went to harvest some Swiss chard. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. Okay. You know what? Do not clip your Swiss chards. Just like I pulled off those collards you want to do that with your swiss chard so i'm gonna go for the bigger ones and i already pulled one off of my smaller swiss chard plants over here but what i'll do is i want to get like my outer bigger ones right so i'm i'm harvesting from this one right here okay and I'm going for the tallest, biggest one. And all you're doing is literally just pulling it from the bottom. Okay. And we have some switch charts. So I'm going to get, I'm gonna get some more because I don't know about y'all, but ooh, I love some Swiss chard, baby. I don't want to get 
good video. Go and tell my sister what I did. Look at that, it's so pretty. And I'll just, I guess, leave the rest. I want them to get bigger. This one, did I mess it up? Okay, no. Great. That's all the squish chart I'm gonna go for today. And some of this oregano. That is the Italian oregano. Just want to some of this good stuff. Maybe cut it back, right? Because I have a lot of it. I do want to see if I can plant some next to uh, my bigger crops out here. Like a companion plant. And this oregano, y'all. I'm glad that I did move it, it would have took over. It was in the same pot, or grow bag, excuse me, as my California Wonder pepper. And I was like, ooh, I probably should take that and move it. And so I moved it. And now the Golden Wonder is in this bigger pot with the marigold. Come over here. And get some of this oregano back. Oh, it was a plant for This is my second harvest. My first one was much bigger than this. Okay, let's go see what we got in our baskets. All right, that's gonna complete our harvest video today, guys, here at home and gardening with Anquisha. And just a closer view of what I was able to harvest. Big, juicy Swiss chard, y'all. Look at these leaves. That's what I like to see. Give these babies a good wash. They might not make it into the deep freezer. Look at these leaves. Isn't that amazing? I love how big they are. Ooh, maybe this could be some kind of veggie roll, right? Put some stuff in the middle. Ooh, I'm greedy. But I am loving my Swiss chard. I love eating it. I love growing it. It's one of my favorite greens. So we got some Swiss chard. We got some cilantro from the garden. I don't want to get these two mixed up. These two herbs I harvested. Let me get them out of each other's way. Let's show the cilantro oregano. <laughs> there we go. So we got some fresh cilantro. And we harvested some of that Italian oregano. That smells really good. Okay. And then you guys, we also harvested 
some cabbage leaves, some collards, and that unknown green that doesn't look like collards to me. This does not look like collards. I'm thinking it's kale or something, right? It's not dinosaur kale. You guys think that's kale? Let me know in the comments because I'm going to eat it, whatever it is. But that's going to include today's harvest video, you guys. If you are new to my channel and you enjoy the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you are able to watch every video we upload. That's going to be it, guys. I hope and pray we meet again. Peace and blessings.